When you're buying online leads, a lot of you are treating them the same. Answer me! That's part of the problem for not being able to convert them at the highest level possible. Yes, you need skill, but you also need strategy. And I want to show you exactly what we do when it comes to strategizing so that you know exactly how to use your database with all of your online leads, who you're gonna call first, second, and really create a beautiful process so you can have the biggest success. All right, let's get to it. First things first, there are four steps you're gonna to have to remember. And the first one, when you're reaching out to online leads, it's pretty easy. I'm not gonna show you that one on here because it's different for everyone. That means if someone reaches out to see a property, if you've been texting back and forth with somebody, they're contacting you. That is by far the most important person to reach out to today. Easy, right? They requested something, you're going to get back to them as soon as possible. So I, I refer to those as number one, contacted us, hand raiser reached out to us for a reason. That's number one. Now let me show you number two. I'm gonna use follow up boss. You can use whatever CRM you want. So that's number one. The people that are hand raising and saying, hey, I have a question. I wanna see a property, right? That type of request. Now, number two, we typically go to, and I'll show you here, we typically go to the newest leads. That's who we gravitate to next. And let me show you here on Follow Up Boss. We're going to go to Power Ups first. Go to Profile. If you have Follow Up Boss Profile, Power Ups, and then we have Blur Mode on. That means when we turn it on, you won't be able to see the client's phone numbers or emails. It's a pretty cool feature they've got. So let's go to People. The very first thing we go to is, if it's not set up here, is when was this incoming lead created? and then the source because we want to make sure that it is an online lead whether it's revel up or y lopo or our own facebook lead ads that we create uh, we want to go to created <clears throat> if this isn't here i would recommend that you just move it right wherever you have it bring it over here create it uh created goes there and then uh, you can do old to new but no we want new to old because now we want to reach out to the people that just came through for the first time. So let's go to my Alita and take a look at some tags. It looks like a Ventura County lead, FUB integration with Zapier. It looks like our own Facebook lead ad that we created. And it looks like they're looking for townhomes. So we would reach out to her and then do the whole thing that I've outlined in one of the podcasts that I did, episode 44, where I explain how to reach out to people coming in online leads, call, call, text, email, and then text later. So same thing. I go to the next one, John. I look at all the details as much as I can. This one looks like it might be a Wilopo lead from what I can see. Yeah, definitely Wilopo. And then I can see all the information below what they're looking for and details then i would go to the next and that's what we do and we go back let me show you we go back for let's say we haven't reached out to anybody for the last 24 hours we go back for about 24 hours but we're pretty good at reaching out to everyone so it's there that let me stop sharing that that is number two now let's go to number three and number three and number four can be alternated but i prefer number three to be this one here we go Let's go back to follow up boss. Now I'm going to go to last visited. That means they last visited our website and I'm going to go here. Let's, let's just move this over. Let's put it over at the front and then I want to see some other last activity too, but last visited <clears throat> when I click on this one, go to new to old. And now we can take a look at who's been on our website, searching for homes or visited just over the last, for us, over the last 24 hours, right? You can go back way further if you're not reaching out to them. But now, once we're done with reaching out to those hand raisers, reaching out to those people that 
just came through as a new lead. Now we're reaching out to last visited. And I'm going here. A slightly different approach. This one, uh, we'd have to go look and see, well, when was the last time we contacted them? What did we say? Uh, we'll keep searching for you. It looks like Rick is on this one. And if they weren't being reached out to, I'd give them a call and then text them uh, and then move on to the next one, depending on how much contact we've had. And we'd go on to, this is Mason, we'd go on to Russell. And it looks like Rick's got a lot of leads here. This one belongs to me, John James. And I do the exact same thing there. So that is number three. Now, number four, like I said, is pretty close to number three. And that's self-explanatory. Let me go here and show you. If I'm going to scroll through and have all of these, these headings, right? I want to filter out properties saved. And so let's go over and bring that over here. If I click on it and go to, um, let's see, I want to go, who's saved the most properties? Holy cow, 486 few uh, saved properties. And they were, they were active as of four days ago. So this is what we typically like to do. We go and take a look at who's saved a home most recently and sometimes you find that in the last activity or you find that last visits if we would go to last visits you sometimes find them in here see here uh this one came in three uh this one visited our website three hours ago and they've got 35 saves so i probably would categorize her as extremely important to reach out to let's see who this one's assigned to chris darcy as soon as we're finished this call, you better believe I'm telling Chris Darcy to get on that one. Uh, but there you go. We look for the most saved properties, and then we work backwards. And just making sure that we're taking care of those people that are actively on our website. So see, not everyone is created equally on our site, so we're not going to treat them equally. That's the exact process we go through. Hopefully that helps you. And do me a favor, please subscribe to the channel. And if you found this very interesting or you learned something, share it with somebody else. We'd love for other people to learn what you're learning.